Today, I want to quickly share my favorite YouTubers and TV shows for learning English, guys, and based on my English learning experience. In this video, we're gonna do something different. As you all guys know, I write to learn English with scripts. I always have a chance to get a better understanding, uh, you know, when it comes to learning English with TV shows and YouTubers, because I'm able to analyze every single vocabulary in every TV shows or YouTubers. I, I'm able to analyze their speech, the way they speak, you know, what kind of vocabulary they're using, what kind of sentences they're making. So we're gonna take a very deep uh, look at those uh, YouTubers and favorite TV shows. There are gonna be two parts of this video. In the first part, I'm gonna talk about the TV shows that you can learn English with in the most efficient way. And in the second part of this video, I'm gonna talk about the YouTubers that you might learn English with, okay? And okay, now the first part is learn English with TV shows. Now, obviously, when it comes to learning English, I would highly recommend you learn English with sitcoms, uh, first of all, as a beginner. When it comes to speaking English, when it comes to improving your English, obviously everyone knows that Friends is the best TV show for learning English. Now, as someone who tried out so many methods, I tried to learn English with Friends, with How I Met Your Mother and The Office. Now, let me tell you that, guys, I love three of them, okay? And The Office is my favorite TV show. I watched it like five times in a row. How I Met Your Mother was my first ever sitcom. I remember liking it so much and obviously friends is the reason that I am here today, is the reason that I'm making this video, is the reason that I speak English. When it comes to learning English with TV shows, you need to take one thing into consideration, one important thing into consideration. You need to see and understand if the language in this TV show is applicable to your life. For instance, you can learn English with uh, the office because most of the lines that we see in the office are not going to be applicable to your life. When it comes to How I Met Your Mother, I was really into it at the time How I Met Your Mother. You can learn English with How I Met Your Mother, but still there are some inside jokes in How I Met Your Mother and sometimes some of the lines, especially Barney's lines, are not applicable to our lives. But when it comes to learning English with friends, you're going to see that there are so many lines that you can use in your daily life, okay? Example, just from the very opening scene, okay? Guys, there is nothing to tell, it's just some guy request. Okay, this is very useful expression, this is a very useful line because there is nothing to tell, you're gonna use that line all the time. I have nothing to tell, there is nothing to tell, there is nothing to talk about. It's just some guy request. Yeah, it's just some guy rocket. You're gonna use, you can use that, okay? It's very applicable to your life, you know? It's just some, I'm working with this guy. It's just some guy rocket. Or, you know, you're going out with a guy. Like, it's very applicable to your daily life. So, I would say that Friends is the best TV show, especially if you're a beginner. Yeah, let me tell you that I had started learning this with Friends as a beginner, okay? But what I mean by beginner is, come on, you're going out with the guy. I wouldn't even be able to understand what go out meant. So basically I will take a note, I will, I will write down the meaning of go out because I didn't, I didn't understand what go out meant. That was my level. I would say that you can definitely 100% learn English with friends and honestly, learn English at least like uh, between 12 or 15 episodes of friends will be enough for you to start to speak English fluently about your daily life, about your routines, your chores, you know, what you do that day, etc. So basically, friend is gonna get you from that table where you're not even able to say like, I'm gonna go out and take a walk or I'm gonna meet up with my friends. You're not able to say that. Let's assume that you're not able to say those basic lines. It's gonna take you from that table to that table where you are comfortably able to talk about your life like you know today i'm gonna go out and take a little walk and i'm going to meet up with my friends we're, we're having dinner tonight okay so i'm dating i go on a date you know like a normal the things that you do on a daily basis okay i learned english with friends for like between six to eight months i tried to learn english with how i met your mother but in my personal opinion in my personal experience I will say that I don't find How I Met Your Mother as efficient as Friends, okay? It's just my personal experience, my opinion, maybe that might be different for you. If you're asking my opinion, I will say that Friends, for learning English, I will say 10 out of 10. How I Met Your Mother, 8 out of 10. And The Office, 
5 out of 10, okay? If you want to start to learn English and if you're asking yourself like, where do I start? I would say uh, starting to learn English with friends is going to be great beginning for, for you. The second TV show that I can highly recommend is House of Cards. When I was learning English with House of Cards, obviously, uh, there were so many words related to business, politics, media, social media, so many things. For instance, you know, like board meeting or inaug inauguration or, you know, putting out the pastor, you know, or a lowly house majority whip or fraud or immigration, banking, education. None of my regular sources can confirm that. And that's why the first order of business for this administration will be a comprehensive education reform bill yeah, there are so many well-written dialogues in House of Cards and you're going to come across so many, uh, you know, expressions or idioms uh, or terms from media, social life, you know, social issues or politics or media, technology. You know, basically, you're going to have a chance to improve your uh, speaking skill drastically. If you really want to be able to understand the news that you're listening to, like, you know, I guess, you know, six years ago when I first started learning English, Trump was in power and i won't be able to understand uh, his addresses but with house of cards i started understanding every single thing in politics you know i started understanding every single thing when i was listening to you know cnn or pbs news hour or hassan piker you know political uh streamer so house of cards will definitely 100 percent help you to uh, like go from intermediate level to this advanced level. So I would say House of Cards, 10 out of 10. Now, my third TV show is The Crown. I would rate Crown 9 out of 10. The thing about Crown, the reason why I wanted to learn English with The Crown at the time was because when I first started learning English, obviously I had learned English with friends and then House of Cards, and I was basically exposing myself to American accent, okay? But when it comes to understanding British accent and British uh, British English, I won't be able to even pick out one single like you know word because I wasn't exposing myself to British accent enough. So I thought, okay, Arsene, this is not gonna work. You're not able to understand British accent at all. Okay, you need to find a way to understand British accents. And then I decided to learn English with British TV shows. And I went with uh, with The Crown. The Crown is great for improving your vocabulary. Not improving your speaking skill. The reason why I don't find The Crown the best TV show for improving speaking skill is because most of the lines that we see in Crown are not applicable to our lives. We don't speak in a way that they speak in Crown, okay? <laughs> Uh, I had a chance to improve my listening skill. I exposed myself to British accents with the crown while I was learning English with the crown. And uh, basically, after learning English with the crown, uh, I started uh, understanding every single thing in British accents. And also, as I said, you know, in every single episode, guys, I was improving my uh, vocabulary. I was expanding my vocabulary. In, in every single episode, there were approximately more than 200 words that I was coming across, you know, I was learning. Like, you know, I invited to form a government in my name, or is there sovereign? Like, I didn't know what sovereign meant, or house of commons, or company, companion, or commonwealth, undertake, you know. So, probably wise to let the Princess Elizabeth undertake the commonwealth tour. Besides, we have to start breaking her in gently, don't we? Probably wise to let the Princess Elizabeth undertake the Commonwealth tour. We have to start breaking her in gently, don't we? We're gonna make a massive progress in terms of vocabulary while you're practicing with the crown. Now for the second part of this video, which I'm gonna talk about my favorite YouTubers. Okay, honestly, learning English with YouTube, I always say that was a game changer thing in my life. Learning English with YouTube videos and YouTubers has its cause and pros. First of all, I want to talk about this cons and pros, and then I want to I want to share my favorite YouTubers with you guys. Okay, if you learn English with YouTube videos, you need to make sure that you learn English with vloggers. Like, you don't try to learn English with uh, YouTubers that just you know talk to camera like ten minutes straight. You know, for instance, in this video, I talk to camera like. 15 minutes straight. This is not 
helpful for learning English. Try to learn English with vloggers. When you learn English with those types of YouTube videos, you're gonna see that every single line that you're using, every single expression, every single word that they're using, every single thing that they are saying as they go about their life are applicable to your life. For instance, one of my favorite YouTubers was Natalie. In 2020, during the pandemic, I had started learning English with uh, Natalie, Natalie Lean, okay? She's such a great uh, filmmaker and also storyteller. She's really the reason, you know, when I see her YouTube videos right now, it hits me so bad because she's the reason that I'm able to make YouTube videos today because without her videos, I don't think that I will be able to uh, make YouTube videos today because she's she was such a great inspiration to me. Now, for instance, in one of her videos, uh, these are the notes from 2020 guys, you know, good morning and welcome to another boring repetitive day in my life. Good morning and welcome to another repetitive day, boring repetitive day in my life. Every day I wake up, I get ready, I go to school, after school, I come home from school, I go to bed, good night, then I repeat everything all over again. Good morning and welcome to another boring repetitive day in my life. Every day I wake up, I get ready, I go to school, off to school, I come home from school, home from school, I go to bed, <sighs> good night, then I repeat everything all over again the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. These lines are so useful because you're gonna say the same things, like you're gonna say that I feel so stuck, okay? I'm home, I go to bed, I need to go to bed, I feel so sleepy, you know, same things. When you choose a YouTuber, make sure that they are vlogging their life, okay? Make sure that it's very simple, you know, just lifestyle vlogger, like lifestyle YouTubers, okay? Vloggers, you know, just very cheesy, but uh, those YouTube videos are not educational, but it's gonna be very helpful for you to improve your speaking skill, okay? So this is exactly what I was doing, okay? But obviously, the con is sometimes uh, it might not be as efficient as learning this with friends, you know, because in France, while you're learning this, there are so many characters, and you know, it's so much easier to remember those characters' lines, you know? It's so much easier to remember Ra the way Ross speaks or Ross lines. It's, it's so much easier to remember the story. But when you learn when you're learning this with YouTubers, there is not much story going on. But still, learning this with YouTube videos will help you to improve your speaking skill. So basically, if you combine TV shows, start learning English with TV shows, and then go with YouTube videos. If you if you can do that, you're gonna see that you're completely fully able to speak English fluently. Okay, guys. Natalie, her videos I will say for learning English is ten out of ten. So Hail Sunny, also you can learn English with Hail Sunny. I practiced with Hail Sunny during again COVID. She wasn't another YouTuber that I tried to improve my uh, English with. Ellie Thurman, she's an another American vlogger and YouTuber. And also Case and I said, Case and I said vlogs are great. And also another YouTuber is Kennedy Walsh. I improve my speaking skill and my English in general with Kennedy Walsh's YouTube videos as well because she's a very colorful person, she's not boring. Yeah, so basically these are my favorite YouTubers. Uh, Natalie, Hilusani, Ellie Thuman, Kennedy Walsh, um, Casey Neistat, Peter McKinnon really really helped me to improve my English. I always want to keep this in mind. Learning English has nothing to do with consuming educational content. Learning English has nothing to do with sitting in your chair and just sitting in front of your computer for hours and hours and just studying and taking notes and memorizing words and making grammar and making translations and you know memorizing grammar rules and all that stuff. It has nothing to do with that, okay? You learn English with TV shows, you learn English with YouTubers and make sure that they're fun, you're enjoying those YouTubers videos, okay? And you're just practicing with them. That's it, okay? You just keep it very simple and you just focus on enjoying the process. I mean, if you want to know something about my personality, in my life, I always dedicated myself to one thing. Whatever I do in my life, I'm going to try to do it in a fun way. In a fun way that I enjoy the process. 
I can never do something I don't want to do. Yeah, because of that, I many times failed in my life because, you know, sometimes I'm like, okay, I, I can't do that. I can't do that because I don't enjoy this. It's so boring. When I find something so boring, I'm not able to achieve or accomplish that. I failed to learn English for so many years because I always found so boring the way that we learned English in school. And, you know, other than school, the way we learn English on YouTube with these traditional English teachers. So far, these are the movies and uh, TV shows and YouTubers that I can recommend to you guys. And I, as I keep going, as I keep practicing with more and more movies and TV shows and YouTubers, I'm gonna keep uh, rating them and sharing my opinions of them. Yeah, that's it. And I hope you keep practicing. I hope you're enjoying your process, your English learning process. Make sure that you always have fun. You always focus on having fun. Okay, you always focus on enjoying the process. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.